What's up guys, it's Taken here and yeah, as I promised, here's the video about Sin Gear and before I start to explain and show you guys what gear you can, might or should use, one important info towards the stuff I will say. So the suggestions and whatever I will give you suit for my gameplay, my gems and my setup. So don't expect you to be able to get a pro sin just through yeah taking the same gear as I do in this video. So the best way is yet to just like figure out your own type of gear, what you need and what fits your um yeah, your gameplay. And furthermore, my gear and my setup is based on the aim of getting maximum attack, um, attack power and not like high resilience, high HP or whatever. Never mind, let's get ahead. So first of all, what trinkets should you use? And you can already choose between various trinkets here. Like we got the S3 trinket, Stone of Great Honor, T4.5 trinket, um, EHL trinket, the 2 of 2 set um, from VTL and FCL, and another S3 trinket for HP restoration. And of course, the S2 trinket for a lower cooldown on the Lucid Dreaming, so for a faster stunning on your skills. What I decide for in general is the T4 trinket for getting um, 575 agility for 15 seconds and you will only use this trinket once in a combat, yes, but you will get a higher smoke bomb damage and it has good passive stats for a sin as well like um, the attack power and the stamina. A second trinket, I choose the S3 trinket, um, so the Revenger for, no not the Revenger, sorry, um, for the chance of triggering a 100% crit chance on any skill for 3 seconds. And the reason for this is that this effect um, gets triggered within your first hit once your um, once its cooldown time is over. So basically since I use my smoke bomb right at the beginning of the combat, I can be 100% or at least 99% sure that my smoke bomb will do a critical hit. And whenever I use this trinket, indeed I crit it with my smoke bomb once I used it uh, right away in the combat. Furthermore, um, it gives great um, stats for my sin, like the stamina and resilience, so it's not for attack power, but um, considering the rest of my gear, I really need this trinket. So I don't use the 2 of 2 set from FCL and VTL anymore, EHL trinket and so on, because they give you a huge amount of attack power during the combat, yes, but um, after time it just didn't work out anymore with these trinkets. And as a sin I already got a lot of attack power and for the smoke and for rushing DPS, um, passive DPS over time in combat just doesn't make any sense for me. Furthermore, I don't use the Stone of Great Honor because the stats are worse than S3 or T4 trinket and for the S2 trinket, yeah, it allows you to control enemy healer and DPS way better through more stuns, but I really don't need this anymore because my attack power is already pretty high and I never struggle to kill any healer in a short time, um, even without this trinket. So next part is the rings and you might choose S3 rings or T4 here but for me as a sin since I want maximum attack power I suggest you to use um, full T4 rings because S3 rings don't give you any attack power at all um, except the agility. For HP and getting more death stats like resilience you should take them nevertheless but I personally don't. There are diploma rings as well and especially when having low death stats like I do, um, they can save your ass really in every situation but um, check out my diploma rings video because the main point of my opinion towards these rings and especially on my sin is, they give you the buff once to survive any damage for 8 seconds which is great because you have low HP but for the rest of the fight I have a lot less attack power, it's like 200 less attack power plus I have lower, um, yeah, lower death stats like more HP. The cloak and the necklace, so I was a fan of using haste a lot, so especially the cloak, or the S3 cloak, since you have so much more vigor and um, with a lot of haste through poison and faster auto hits, um, you did insane DPS and that's the reason I used the S3 cloak and haste gems for a really long time, but for getting maximum attack power I just decided for the T4 cloak um, that could be bought for souls. The reason I don't take this one here for um, Sin is I don't need agility but attack power and this cloak here simply has more attack power overall because um, lower agility. Okay, I fucked up that sentence I just noticed. So yeah, for Sin take the cloak and the necklace for souls because they have lower agility, yes, but more attack power overall for getting maximum attack power as a Sin. 
Okay, now let's continue with the weapons. So, um, if you have scanner weapons, do use them. Don't use S3 daggers or S3 um, chakram or bow or whatever you think looks cool or might be good as a sin. Um, I know S3 daggers look awesome, for example, but don't use any other weapon except the scanner weapons because it simply doesn't make sense and they have the best stats and deal the most damage. And as a sin, you hit a lot with your daggers and you don't want to underestimate how much um, 50 more damage per hit is um, as a sin when comparing gears. So the gear itself, for um, the highest death stats you should use 4 parts S3 and 2 parts S2, which will make you a great tank but a bad sin, so don't use any of these sets. Um, you have the opportunity to take 2 parts S2, 2 parts S3 and 2 parts T4 as well, but the purpose um, for this is to get more attack power through the T4 gear which has higher attack power and the S2 and S3 gear should like get the set bonus and this should compensate the damage or no not the damage but the death stats you lose through taking T4 gear but I'm not a fan of that setup since the T4 gear has the same bonus as 6 parts S3 and because you have no 4 of 4 set bonus and this is like um, the archer or the sin for set bonus are extremely important because either archer set bonus gives you a second free will or the sin bonus uh, will give you an armor break which allows you to get the enemy armor through zero even but I will show you this in the next video. So I basically and in general go for 6 of 6 um, set bonus S3 after all since this gives me the maximum set bonus and I don't lose 4 sets bonus and yet I get the uh, 150 agility bonus in the end which is equal to uh, 150 attack power in the end as a sin. So like this I have, wait let me uh, delete my buffs real quick, um, I have 3160 basic attack power which isn't that bad as a sin and my HP is around 19k, that's low, I know. Agility is 877 and I have 44% damage reduction through resilience. So you already noticed the stats are or appear and in fact are extremely low, but they don't reveal any of the huge um, attack power that's beyond it. So this gear will have the result that any team you face a second time in arena will use diploma rings from now on because you one shot them, but also any DPS that killed you like once in three hits, especially the DPS or even in two hits, um, they will go for you in the first place and this will make you a pretty easy target to any DPS while any other class or opponent in arena is an easy target for you as well. So this is something like you kill fast but you also get f killed really fast. Okay, so I already spoke a lot now, but one last thing for gears which you might use as well. So first of all, the old RFL set for Sin for more haste here, and I really used it a lot because through all buffs, skills, and this set, which gave me haste when I was in combat, my overall haste level was around 50%, and attacking 50% faster is 50% more damage um, through auto hits. And furthermore, you have a lower cooldown time and more vigor. And nevertheless, you shouldn't um, use it anymore, even though it was awesome to play it um, because it's just a pretty weak set now towards um, T4 or the S3 sets. Nevertheless, I sometimes use 2 parts T4 and 4 parts S3 because I have the same set bonus as before, just a lot more attack power in exchange for a little less resilience. And when using 2 parts T4, you must use head, um, the head, so the hood or the helmet, and the armor, so the breast, because any other T4 part makes absolutely no sense since the head uh, the hood and the armor are the only S3 parts which um, don't grant you any attack power bonus as a sin. So my stats by now were 44% resilience, 3200 attack power, 40% crit, 16% haste, 870 stamina and around 900 agility. And when equipping t um, the 2 of 2 set of T4 now, I have, um, let's wait 20 seconds until I have the bonus. So. So by now I have 39% um, resilience, 3700 attack power, 44% crit and 13% haste, 836 stamina and 1038 agility. So what this actually causes is you lose 5% resilience and this is equal to taking 5% more damage in arena and this is just a lot. Nevertheless, 4% um, more crit, 3% less haste. This is almost 
same amount HP we got um, after all, but I gain 150 um, agility and 500 attack power. And this just insane DPS, which I get um, on top just through changing the sets, even though I lose a little HP and a lot of my death stats. So whenever going like this, you need a good healer or play at least smart to not die right away. And you might consider using diploma rings, but as I told you, I'm no fan of them and it's lame to use them in my opinion. And furthermore, they lower your attack power a lot and the death stats will be decreased for the rest of the fight as well. So yeah, that's my gear. I hope you liked it and stay tuned and subscribe for upcoming videos and combos. Um, my spec, I will show it again to you. And I know this was a really long video, but yet there's a lot more I could tell and explain about Sin Gear. So tell me your opinion on Sin Gear. What do you equip or... Yeah, how do you set up your gear and sin? And as always guys, this is Taken here and stay tuned.